when you were on the clock and the Dolphins had a pick and they chose Tua and not Justin Herbert. Walk me through those moments for you, Tom Teles- Telesco. Well, that was uh, obviously that was the draft that we all did from home. Um, that was the COVID draft, so yeah. that was pretty interesting um, because I was essentially essentially sitting by myself. Uh, I had my wife and kids in the room, um, but you know I had everybody on Zoom in front of me, um, and you know kind of myself and our staff probably the, uh, a week to ten days before the draft we do a lot of work on what we call draft management, uh, trying to get a feel for where players are going to go, how we can kind of attack the draft to try and acquire the players that we like. Um, Kind of had a feeling that 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 pick was going to go off before us, but you mm-hmm. never know um, until until that that name comes in. Um, but uh, that was such an interesting draft, just because you know you're used to being in a draft room with with, with your whole staff and being able to kind of talk some things out. Um, but that one, you're you know I'm sitting in front of a two screens, one with the draft on it, and one with uh, you know Anthony Lynn was on there, and mm-hmm. Kevin Kelly, JoJo Wooden, our whole staff was on the other one in the Zoom and kind of waiting for it to come off. I know at that time uh, we did not want to have to trade up. Um, we certainly weren't going to trade back, and it kind of worked out the way we had hoped. Yeah, you think normally the biggest moment when your wife and kids are in the room for your life is when they're born, right, uh, in a delivery room. But here was another very important moment in your life with your wife and kids in the room, you know, in the delivery of Justin Herbert, I guess, yeah, Tom. It was a pretty interesting experience. It really was. I mean, go, going, I told people this, going into it, I had a lot of reservations uh, running a draft from my dining room. Um, first, the, the whole logistics of it, if yeah. the internet goes down, and then, look, you know, this is not a one-man show. Right. Um, there's a whole group of people that are involved in this, and, you know, we're going to be working through through Zoom. And actually, our, our seventh-round pick, K.J. Hill from Ohio State, as we were um, getting ready to select him, the, the Zoom actually went out oh. um, because we were, we were trying to get so many people on there so we were getting ready for the college free agent oh. process after the draft. So that went out. So you had a little bit of uh, uncertainty there. We got the pick in, but um, it, it was actually it was very neat to, to have, um, you know, my three kids kind of see what the process looks like sure. a little bit um, from home. And, you know, it's a once in a lifetime experience. Hopefully it never happens again. Well, I, of course, I know that. So uh, I asked this of Brandon Bean the other day uh, in regards to Josh Allen, but when did Herbert have you at Hello? Did he have you at Hello, Tom Telesco? When, when did you know this was your guy? Well, I'll Tom. tell you what, our. Uh, we thought he made it clear the year before. So our scouts had done a lot of work on him. Um, Chris Hobbs and Justin Sheridan, Kevin Kelly, and they they liked him a lot the year before. Um, I got more into him um, his senior year. You know, I was at the Rose Bowl game, and um, you know that was kind of an eye popping game for for me. You know, there's certain things um, live games that you just you, you can't get a feel on tape. Um, and just being at that game, just how he moved his team, especially in the second half. Not only throwing the ball, but but running the football and uh, the enthusiasm he played with. That was one of those moments. Like this is what we're looking for. You know, a player who's has the physical ability. You know, he obviously can throw the ball and he's got big arm strength and he's accurate. Um, but he's he's big, he's strong, and he's really athletic. We wanted a quarterback that could really move outside the pocket, run when he had to, go pick up. You know, on third and eight, he can go pick up ten yards if he has to if, if everything's covered up. Um, and had all the intangibles we're looking for in the position, which is just as important and more important than the physical skills. Um, so that was a big game, at least for me. And then even the senior bowl was such a great evaluation tool as well. And, you know, watching him throw the deep ball and how accurate he was at the senior bowl, um, playing with receivers that he had, that had just gotten there and, you know, how well he played in that game. But in the end, you really have to put every, you know, two years of work together with a lot of people's evaluations, mm-hmm. all the testing that we do and try to make a decision, but we're very happy with it, obviously. Yeah, and then I'm sure, again, I asked Brandon this too, and then you meet him, you, you're just hoping before you meet him, boy, I hope I like him. I hope he's not going to turn me off. And of course, that's not that guy, right? That's, it's it's kind of true, you know, especially in that, that leadership position yeah. where people have to follow you. Right. Um, and look, everyone's personalities are different. Everybody leads in different ways. Um, and he leads in his way, which works. Um, yeah, sure it does. He's and, awesome. Uh, you know, he's one of our hardest working players. Um, and uh, when guys see, you know, when, when you're leaders, when they're your hardest working players, when, when your young players come in, especially as rookies, and they see your, your top players work that hard, mm-hmm. they just naturally get in line with that because, you know, a player comes in and figures, you know, I'm not as talented as Justin Herbert. Look at how hard, how hard he works. 
I need to work just as hard as him or probably harder to get to the level I need to get to. So that, that's a big part of being a quarterback. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free. 